What we're able to do now that was never possible before is combine molecular biology with these understandings of the physiology, the electrophysiology of what's going on, so that we can really control it at the genetic level. I love the, the caption of an electric face. It's a really perfect way to explain what it is that you're seeing in that video. So we're actually able to see where cells are acting as a battery where they're, they're accumulating negative charges. And the amazing part was that those negative charges overlap in areas where those cells are going to become parts of the face. So just cell divisions, lots of activity, front end of the spinal cord. There goes the brain, mouth, pharyngeal arches, eye, nose, ear. All of these things are in some way being regulated by a single type of signal. Um, that is just beautiful to me. The finding suggests that what we thought about how cells know what to make is incomplete. And this is a way to sort of finish that story or take a new road for that story. If it holds that these bioelectrical signals are controlling gene expression or the patterns of where genes are expressed, we have a whole new approach to correcting birth defects or preventing them or spotting them before they happen. Plus, we have all these highly specific, beautiful drugs that have been developed in neuroscience or in psychiatry. We have all these drugs that we know work and are safe in humans that we can use to control electrical signals. And so the most exciting thought is that we're this could be translated into highly specific and powerful medicine to interrupt when normal processes go wrong.